Hard to believe it's been a whole week since that dark utopia mess. Time passed so quickly. But doesn't it strike you as kind of weird? I mean, we're talking about this huge incident with all these people involved, but the news has already just forgotten about it. Like there hasn't been a peep lately. Well, to be fair, they can only repeat cause still unknown so many times, can't they? Beyond that, it seems no one has anything left to say. Not even Daishihan Pharmaceuticals? You'd think they'd be taking some heat for this at least. <laughs> Maybe they are, but that's not my problem anymore now, is it? Uh, don't matter none to me anyway. Everything's wrapped up and back to normal, and that's good enough in my book. Don't seem like nobody died in the whole Synthesir hullabaloo, neither. At least, I ain't heard about it if anybody did. Tons of people hospitalized after getting their energy sucked out, though. Supposedly, all the Synthesters who burned up in the sun turned back into humans and were found collapsed on the street, believe it or not. They're in tremendous pain and have to go through rehabilitation before they can rejoin society at large, but, well, that's the price you pay, I suppose. As long as Protector is good, that's all that matters. So everything's more or less okay in Akiba. But what about you Night Eaters? Our people used to be worshipped as Earth deities, feeding off the piety of our loyal subjects. But these days, the nights have grown a bit less dark, and nature has become a bit less threatening. Our hearts used to beat to the people's prayers, but now those prayers are silent, and our powers fade. Is it that lack of piety that's keeping you from having children? Is there just not enough life energy for the task? Is that why you're dying out? Soga thought he could take the desires of Akiba's people and harness them into a new kind of piety to replace what we had before. And he was doing it for us. All of the Night Eaters. Myself and Rin as well. He was doing it to give us a future. <laughs> to give your whole race a future. I think I would have gone to those extremes for my brother too, if I had to. Because if anything ever happened to him, it would be troubling. Very troubling indeed. But since his dark utopia plan failed, doesn't that mean you guys are back to square one? If it's our fate to fall in ruin, I'll accept it. Sis! But until then, I'm going to go back home and hold funerary rites for our brother, together with my people. You don't need to come, nor do you need to concern yourself with the duties of a familiar any longer. Come on, sis. Won't you consider staying in Akiba instead? Do you feel obligated to go? My mind is made up. The fact of the matter is, my people caused a tremendous amount of trouble for this town. And someone needs to answer for that. Sis. I'll be leaving tomorrow. What? That soon? And I need to prepare for the trip. So if you'll please excuse me. I wonder if Shizuku will really go back home. The way she was talking, it sure sounds like it. Won't be the same around here without her. You're staying at least, right, Rin? I mean, if you leave too, things are just gonna be way too depressing around here. Don't worry. I'll be sticking around in Akiba for at least a little while. There are still shows for me to headline, after all. Though, I do wish Sis would stay here with me. Tomorrow, we'll say our goodbyes to Shizuku here at Mogra. And then, I think you should walk her to the station. What? How come? Why don't we all get to go? Kaito, you are not very good at reading the mood. I believe Yuto has the right idea. Shizuku's final moments here should be spent alone with him. Oh, now I get it. Thank you all for everything. I can't believe you're really going. I never know what to say in situations like this. 
If you should ever have any trouble, please don't hesitate to contact us. We'll be here for you. Let's watch Strip Prism SDX next time! I'll leave the upstairs room just the way it is, in case you ever want to come back. Oh, sis, you know I'm not great with goodbyes. But I'll come visit for the Obon Festival and for New Year's. We'll see you off here, but he is going to carry your bags to the station for you. You can work him to the bone if you have to. He is your familiar after all. Thank you again, everyone. The days I spent here with you will always be at the forefront of my memories. I promise, I'll never forget any of you. I truly appreciate everything you've done for me. Farewell. Thank you for helping me with my things. I hate leaving all this activity behind. At first, I found it noisy and irritating in this town. But I've come to regard this bustle as proof of the many wonderful interactions people are having here every day. It's like the sound of Akiba breathing. Maybe it was unfair of me to let you help me with my bags. I'm betting you came along with the sole intention of trying to stop me from leaving. You may have even anticipated it working. Figured you'd convince me not to go back home. Well, to be honest, I don't want to go. But our people have caused so much trouble for you humans. And moreover, I cost my entire race their only hope. I certainly don't approve of Soga's methods, but they would have worked if I hadn't intervened. Regardless of anything else, it's my fault that his plan failed, and as a Night Eater, I have to answer for that. <laughs> if only it were that simple to separate myself from my people. I just... I can't forgive myself for what I did to you. As I said, I don't want to go back to my village. I want to stay here with all of you and see more of this wonderful town. I just... I can't forgive myself for what I did to you. Me? Change? No, I... It's not our way to strike off on our own. I just... I can't forgive myself for what I did to you. I stole something very important from you. The ability to feel the warmth of the sun on your skin. Whatever power or longevity I gave you in return, it's a poor trade. I made you... Inhuman. <sighs> I can't ever ask for forgiveness. Not from the Night Eaters, not from Soga, and certainly not from you. But I... I want to live in this town. This is where I want to be, with all the people I hold dear. Moreover, I want to try to find another way, another means by which we Night Eaters can have a future. You are the sun in my sky, but while the light of the sun burns my body, you, you burn my heart. I love you. I never want to leave your sight again. It's all right. You don't need to say a word. I can tell how you feel from the rhythm of your heartbeat. Let's be together. And let's bear witness to it together. Whatever the future has in store for Akihabara. <laughs>